Hello beloved people, welcome back to my channel, the woman here, thank you for tuning in, if you're new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, it's always a delight to have you back to this channel. My name is Uwuma, I film about faith, my faith journey, business, marriage and lifestyle from Portacot, Nigeria. So if this is what you are interested in, then let's jump right into it. I want to say a big thank you to my wonderful subscribers, beloved people, Uwuma tribe. I appreciate your support on this channel. Thank you beloved people for growing this community and supporting it all the way. Now, without much ado, let's jump right into today's video. Today, I'll be sharing with us a heart of forgiveness. Yes, it is absolutely important as you journey through life that you learn to forgive in advance. Let it be embedded in your heart, not even at the back of your mind. Learn to forgive in advance. Life is a journey, like I always say on this channel. And as you journey through life, a lot of people out there, even the ones that are so dear to your heart, your, your parents, your siblings, they will definitely hurt you. But when you have adopted that strategy of learning to forgive anybody that hurts you in the advance, it makes life easy for you. It makes you have a lot of peace and freedom as you journey through life. Now we're going to be looking at one or two scriptures, you know, as an anchor scripture for today's topic. Now in the book of Matthew, I was like trying to figure out what... Peter was thinking of when he asked Jesus that question, that how many times do you have to forgive somebody who have hurt you? And do you remember what Jesus said? He said 70 times 7. So 70 times 7 is 490, isn't it? So in other words, God is trying to say that it is infinite. When somebody hurts you, you don't have to say, okay, the person has hurt me once, twice, thrice. This is even the fifth time this person is doing this thing. I don't like it and all of that stuff. And you begin to rant. It's absolutely important that you, you get to you know, express your thoughts and your feelings in every situation. But God is saying that it is infinite in essence. When somebody hurts you, please quench your normal person say that um, mm, I'm forgiving the person, but I just draw the distance. I don't want to have that relationship. I'm forgiving the person. You know, let just stay on your own. I don't have anything in my heart against you. Just stay your own. But I need to share this out because I believe that God wants somebody to know this. The Bible says that love your neighbor as yourself. As yourself, that means if you forgive, you're also helping yourself. Believe me, if you have hurt somebody, you've already hurt yourself. Because if you have hurt somebody, you as a human being, you also feel that I've hurt this person. So let me use the give you a quick story. And then to help somebody out there, something happened a few months ago. I have a very dear senior colleague who is like a brother to me, and um, he lost his dad. And we were supposed to travel for the burial. A group of friends and other colleagues we traveled for the burial. Getting to the burial because of how you know the occasion was. He's a very popular person in the community, and the crowd and all of that. Something happened with you in that funeral that you know we had to leave some persons needed to leave we went with the bus to that community it was like those persons that came with the bus should you know get into the bus if there is no provision for some persons to see people can be standing under the sun because it was um, a very uh, big occasion barrier it was more like celebration of life because his dad was close to 1993 or thereabouts almost 100 years which is actually absolutely celebration of life so i actually came with the bus so i had to join the bus to go but somehow you know before joining the bus i just felt that person has been so good to me i could as well you know just stay back and find my way back to portacourt all by myself without having to join the bus i kept having that knowledge in me but i don't i really didn't know what happened i finally joined the bus and when he you know when you have an occasion your mind will not be focused at some point because you are doing a whole lot of things when he finally got settled and he came and found out and asked quite, of quite a number of persons and they said they've left with the, with the boss he didn't feel really happy that some persons left him but because he felt they came to you know support him because he lost his dad excuse me and he was so upset with those people and he felt those persons have hurt him you know so when i got to know about that later i really felt bad you know even when i got home i was like oh i wish i stayed back i would have just you know found my way back myself without having to join the bus you know so he was not happy and he, he was really hot that he didn't expect some particular persons of which i am one of them to have left with the bus even if they didn't have a seat at that time that after we left the bus um, 
you know the place was calm and he was able to sort out a lot of persons so the illustration in this story is that he was hot and then um, he was angry and he didn't want to reach out to those persons even when they picked their culture trying to apologize or explain themselves he refused to you know listen I, I really felt hot you know for the first time in a long time i you know i really cried and i felt god i, I just told god please forgive me i know i've heard this person is not intentional and um I just prayed that God, please just touch his heart, you know, to pick calls and help me explain myself. It took a long time, but afterwards, I was able to, you know, do that. But the point I'm trying to make here is that when you hurt somebody, you also, you are hurt. So it is important that you try to, as much as you can, to have a heart of forgiveness. No matter who have hurt you, no matter what somebody has said about you, you never know the situation. Always learn to hear people out. Don't just shut people out of your life because you feel that they have hurt you. Learn to hear people out and learn to forgive anyone who has hurt you. Lord God is seriously interested in forgiveness. God is serious about forgiveness when he says that forgiveness is infinite. It's important that you learn to, to forgive those people that have hurt you quickly. Don't don't take so much time. Don't take so much. Don't give them so much distance and say you are giving them three months. You know, because when you when people hurt you, they also hurt and they try to, you know, at some point in as they journey through life, they want to, you know, relieve themselves of that freedom. Because when you are living in unforgiveness you are in bondage do you know that when you are living in unforgiveness you are absolutely in bondage so it's important that if somebody have hurt you and they're trying to you know reach out to you to explain themselves it is important that you let go there's nothing they let go no matter how they have hurt you you watching this video do you know how much you have hurt jesus do you know how much pain you have caused him and each time you go asking God for mercy, mercy, because he is a merciful father. God always forgives. Then what right have you not to forgive the other person? What right have you to shut people out of your life because you feel that they have offended you more than once or twice? God is saying, forgive and let go. If you're watching this video, I want you to learn to forgive. And let go of the person that I've got you. No matter how close, it could be your sibling, it could be your parents. Please let go and let them know that you have forgiven them. And the only way you can let them do is to hear them out and try to, you know, give them the opportunity to reach out to you when they need to express themselves. If I must reiterate it, because it is absolutely important. God is mindful of this. So, beloved, on this note, I'll be sharing three prayers points we can pray for people that have hurt us and um, as we do that i pray that the lord will touch their heart let's pray that god heals the pain of every person that have hurt us and if you have hurt other people more likely you are hurting inside ask god to bring healing into your life and let us all pray that god will forgive them and cause them to run to him those people that are so stiff you know they are they are, they are so they are carrying so much unforgiveness in them that they are not letting go let's pray that god you know opens up their heart let's pray that god will heal them let's pray that god will perfect that healing in their lives in the name of jesus father i thank you for everyone hurting and for everyone who has hurt somebody out there lord i ask for your peace i ask for your mercy i ask oh god that you will help those persons that have hurt other people to be healed of that pain and you will help those that have been hurt by others and not allowing them explaining themselves to be healed in the name of jesus and i pray that anyone watching this video who has been hurt or who has hurt another person let that healing power Heal their spirit, man. Let it heal their soul and heal every pain they are going through at this season in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So thank you, beloved people, for watching this video. Please, please share this video with everyone you know. Share this video in your community. If you're watching this video, share this video on Instagram, share it on Facebook. Share it and let somebody know that God is serious about forgiveness. And it is important that they let go of that pain and let go of that bondage. Because unforgiveness is a bondage. So like, come your way in the next video, guys. Don't forget to give the video a like. Subscribe to my channel. So like, come your way in the next video. Please stay safe and stay blessed. Ciao.